Hi YouTube, I wanted to come by today and talk a little bit more about Markion. On Markion, um, as I was going through the book, I had to address Markion's heresy. And it became very clear that Markion's heresy, as told by Justin Martyr, was 100% correct. 100% correct. Um, now, Justin Martyr claims that Markion believed Yahweh was an evil demiurge. Um, now, whether or not Markion believed he was evil or not is is kind of besides the point. Uh, the demiurge possible, uh, the demiurge concept. He absolutely believed that, and I think he probably did believe he was evil. It's the same discussion that we have today, actually, when you talk about the contradiction of the Old Testament and the New Testament, where in the Old Testament you have a being that you know elisha is is made fun of because he is bald so he calls on god to bring two bears to slaughter 42 children you know or david takes a census and because of that he ends up uh getting a plague i believe it was or was it a famine i can't remember anyway it last three months kills seventy thousand people or You've got, you know, the Israelites that are told to slaughter a city with uh, all the women, including all the women and the children and all the livestock. I mean, this is not an, a good being. The Yahweh of the Old Testament is not a good being. So how do you mitigate that with the good Jesus? You know, and and that was the problem of Markion. Markion did, in fact, believe Yahweh was was a demiurge and he probably thought he was very evil um the the texts of the jewish texts say he's evil essentially he's ambivalent he's warlike he's contradictory to himself so that was that was markion's idea and justin martyr's claim is absolutely correct it's only with 185 uh, about 185 maybe a little later with Irenaeus, that you start getting the claim that Markion altered a gospel, altered the gospel of Luke. And this simply doesn't follow. All of the other claims are are correct, but Markion's religion is actually far older than the religion of Justin Martyr or the or the religion of Irenaeus. Um, it's considerably older. It's probably older than Markion himself. So by the time you get to Justin Martyr, a new type of religion has been born. By the time you get to Irenaeus, it's it's even different. It's even different than Justin Martyr's religion. So, I mean, you've got it. It took quite a while for this claim to pop up. And in Irenaeus, his first charge against Markion was the same charge essentially that uh, Justin Martyr gave. That you know, Markion believed Yahweh was evil and just a demiurge uh he he was the constructor of the be of the universe but he was just an evil guy he was just an evil god uh evil a very poor copy of of god and uh this was correct for markion but uh, with Arrhenius, that has changed quite a bit and after he he lists this evil of the docetism the demiurge concept Arrhenius goes says, you know, besides that, he altered the Gospel of Luke, you know, and at that point, my jaw kind of drops, you know, it's like, really, does anyone believe Irenaeus' statement here? You know, if there was a primary source called Luke, or, you know, that was adjusted by Marcion, this is the first heresy. This would be the first problem, not the second problem. This wouldn't be a, a problem in passing this would be a problem of the the highest order because what you have is your religion was very 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 old and markion bastardized it that's what Arrhenius's claim is right he's he's claiming that markion bastardizes Arrhenius's religion but that's not the case markion's religion was far far older than the religion of Arrhenius so um most of the heresy claims are actually true markion did believe in docetism markion did believe in the demiurge 
Um, Mark, yeah, probably did believe Yahweh was evil. Um, let's see, what else? There, there are a lot of other things that, that Mark Eon believed that are kind of fascinating. But the, the one thing that doesn't follow is that he actually altered the Gospel of Luke. And in 375 with Epiphanius, uh, I believe, of Solomus um, in the Panarion, they are still trying to prove that Mark Eon altered Luke. This is only 250 years after Mark Eon, you know, 200 to 250 after the Gospel of Mark Eon, and they are still trying to prove this. You know, this was never an easy case to make because the actual, the, the original idea that he altered Luke was false. That was not true. And you would think that it would not take 250 years to prove that if it were true. Uh, unfortunately, it, it was just utterly false. Anyhow, the, I, I know this video was quite long. And again, remember the links in the bar. Um, let's see. I don't think I have anything else for you today. I'll probably be talking more about Mark Yon later. Uh, but I guess I better get off here for now. So thanks a lot, folks. I'll talk to you later. Bye.